Pitch groups number six, pieces of data. It's you. you did. Hi everyone, I'm Eric. Uh, thanks to the sponsors for having us here. We had a blast. Uh, and we will talk uh, about pieces of data, learning privacy the hard way. So, yeah, we had a great team. We had really a blast. We drank a lot of Club Mate, a lot of Hans Zimmer, and worked through, mostly through the night. Um, so it was pretty a cool experience. Um, we chose uh, the use case one. I've got nothing to hide because most people think we, we are the good guys, right? We have nothing to hide. Why would the government do anything to us? Well, it may work as long as you don't have this president, right? Um, things can change quickly. The friends of today, like a good government with good policies, can be the enemies of tomorrow, curbing privacy rights, fighting LGBT rights, uh, being nationalist and sexist. So privacy concerns everyone. That's the base thesis we have. Um, our target audience is about people saying these kind of things, like, OK, I want my smartphone to work. That's all I care about. That's important. I don't care about how exactly it works. Uh, I ask others, data privacy is way too complicated. It doesn't concern me. It's a little bit like people who say, OK, right, uh, head on this, uh, like people saying, I want uh, my personal freedoms, but I don't care too much about how things work. And these are our target audience for the game. So we want them to think at the end, when they play our games, um, better be safe than sorry. OK, it's not so complicated to have like, the basic rules of, of data privacy. And yeah, better be safe than sorry, basically. So what is Pieces of Data, our game? It's an, an interactive activism novel. That, that means that you have like small digital interactions soon all the game. It's, for sing it's a single player game for iOS and Android. You play it on your smartphone. It's approximately 45 minutes to one hour to play. Um, what is it about? You play an activist in a state becoming more and more repressive. Like you had elections, it's in the country of Dedalia, and you have the United Party of Dedalia, a very conservative government, trying to curb LGBT rights. You play in the basic demo on LGBT activists. Later on, you can play different stories. And you try to activate your group and to organize it by a very simple tool, your smartphone. You play with your smartphone on your smartphone because your smartphone is your friend. You have your friends on your smartphone. You chat with them. You organize. You have like Google schedules. You, have a, a, you can browse to look, OK, where will the rally be? So it's quite useful, right, a smartphone for activists. But at the same time, these are all in-game graphics, by, by the way. Um, it's also your enemy because, OK, you didn't encrypt your smartphone. Use in an unencrypted chat, you have your browser history. And all these things in the game can be tracked by the government. You make choices, you chat with the people, and your friends can be arrested if you're not very careful about how you use privacy, if you don't use secure chats. So your smartphone is your friend, and at the same time, it is your enemy. And how can you change that? Simply by make your smartphone your loyal friend. While you play the game, you can decide to encrypt it. OK, you've seen, um, like, our chat was, cra um, yeah, was tracked by the governor. OK, I will use a secure chat. Then I will use PGP for my emails. You have, like, different clients and browsers on the game. You can install in the game different uh, new apps and more and more make it a really safe space to use for your activist works. So we have a playable prototype. Daniel can show it to you. Wave, Daniel. Thanks. And um, it's a short play time, a couple of minutes to show as a proof of concept. On the long-term development targets, we want different activist uh, path. We want a real app with a full access on your phone when you install it. So you get real emails. Yeah. Your contacts will be integrated in the game. Chatbots will contact you via WhatsApp. And suddenly, the camera will make photos of you. 
and put it in the game. So you think, oh, what the fuck is happening? So you will have really to put GPS off. You really want to see, okay, I have to install Tor to use these kind of things. And so this is a basis why we want you to go to the Revolution 4, comrades, and to use this game to really learn and to really change your smartphone and use it smartly and wisely. Thank you.